guys, we are back, and Sean and I are going to do a Q and A video. You sound so white. Right? What did you? Do? <laughs> you not at work. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that, y'all. Y'all didn't hear that. You crazy. Why would you say that? Wait, that oh my gosh. He's a nut, y'all. He's a nut case. Yeah, so we're back. <laughs> I didn't even say it like that. We're back. <laughs> Put some bass in your voice. You ain't, you ain't at work. All right, y'all. Okay, so. That's what I'm talking about. We back. <laughs> it fixed the button. We, we back, y'all. We back. That's what you want me to do. That that's what you want me to do. We back, y'all. No, we stop. <laughs> All right, y'all. So anyway, we're back and we are doing a Q and A video. Um, so you guys can, I guess, get to know us better. Maybe? Right? Yeah, I guess. So, hey, hey. So you guys can get to know us better. All right. So um, I found some questions pretty much online that they ask most couples. What, what, did, what did that report? Did anybody ask us anything? No, not specifically. Not, I just found these a uh, couple questions online that, you know, other couples been asked. Okay. So I kind of like grabbed some and um, you, I think you have some questions as well. All right, y'all. So we're going to start with the first question. All right. How long have we been together? We've been together for about 10 years, y'all. 10 years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married since August 1st of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Why August 1st? It's supposed to be August 2nd. But. But. Couldn't get August 2nd. Because the courthouse wasn't open on the weekend. And August 2nd happened to be Saturday. Yeah, we didn't have a, a traditional wedding ceremony. We went to the Justice of Peace guys. They had the biggest party in all. Yeah, we had a really nice reception afterwards. And I'm so happy we planned on doing it that way. Because we, we put most of our funds into our honeymoon. And, and guess what August 2nd is? Hee <laughs> hee. You want to tell them what August 2nd is? It's my birthday, y'all. It's my birthday. Yep, it's my birthday. So I brought in my birthday at our, uh, actually, yeah, we got married on the first and our wedding reception was actually on the second on my birthday. So I kind of like, <laughs> we had a birthday party and reception together, but it was more so the reception. So I, I can never different. get in trouble because my birthday yeah, yeah. anniversary yeah, that's, that's what it was. is on the same day. So I can never... Why would you forget anyway? That's why. Because you know, guys, we don't care about those type things. What do you mean you don't care? Fellas, do you care when your anniversary that is? That is an important day. For who? For both of us. For who? No. Who is the, who is the wedding for? Who, who is marriage for? No. Yes. No. I bet, ask them. Ask them. They right there. Ask them. Anyway. Ask them. They're right there. Both the husband and wife should know when their wedding anniversary is. It's just the right thing. Right it's there. just as important as your birthday. You're right there. Anyway. So, yes, y'all. So, we didn't have a traditional wedding ceremony. We went to the uh, Justice of Peace. We got married there. And then the next day, we had a really nice uh wedding reception it was we had a lot of fun it was it was nice we had a full house it was a lot of people and um following immediately following the wedding reception we went on our honeymoon and we went to hawaii we had a beautiful beautiful honeymoon in hawaii and waikiki it was absolutely amazing and I tell everybody, you know how sometimes you go on a trip and sometimes you have hiccups here and there, you know, something may go wrong and this and that, or, you know, it's just something, you know, something make you mad or whatever. Our honeymoon was flawless. I mean, from start to finish, it was just great. Yeah, we had a, we, didn't we have a delay? 
I didn't care about that delay. I didn't want to go home anyway. <laughs> Think I cared about that delay? Huh. I was hoping that they was going to put us up in the hotel so we could get another night. That's what I was hoping for. I did not care about that delay, y'all, because I did not want to come home. I did not. That honeymoon was so nice, and I can't wait to go back to Hawaii. I can't wait because we literally... We, when we got there, we stayed right across from Waikiki Beach. Well, it was right on the beach, literally. And um, we actually got a rental car for free. <laughs> because when we got there, I was telling everybody, oh, we're on a honeymoon, this and that. And I was telling Sean. We, we, we don't, doing what they do. <laughs> I was telling Sean, we need to let everybody know because we don't know what we could get. Like, we're on our honeymoon. She just wanted to say, I'm there. Yeah, but what do we get? I'm what do we get from me telling everybody? I, I, I'm not knocking it. We got a free car. I'm, I'm happy. Exactly, exactly. And we toured ourselves. We already had our Luau um, day planned, which was also amazing. But um, we got a free rental car, and we were able to tour ourselves around the island. That, that was the best thing. And we was on our own time. We didn't even have to worry about, you know, oh, you know, you can get off the bus and be back at this time. No, we was on our own time. And it was great. It was great. I will definitely, definitely, definitely go back. But the next trip is going to be Tahiti, Tahiti, isn't it? Yeah, we're planning to or go Fiji. to... One of the two. We're planning to either go to Tahiti or Fiji uh, within the next couple of years. That's well, definitely we got our plan. I think that might be a little bit later on because which one we're gonna do a uh, road trip? Yeah, and I think that's cross a, country road trip. In a couple of years, we're gonna go from Jersey all the way out to California, then up into Seattle, Washington, and then fly home. Yeah. So, so I've never been to California, never been to Seattle or anything like that. So we're gonna do a cross country. It's gonna take us about two weeks. Yeah. And all. So that's that's the next very big thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the bucket list. Yeah, we told y'all. I don't know. We might have said in other videos. These bills gonna be here. Have fun. We have fun, y'all. We have fun. have fun. Whenever me and Sean could just get up and go, we go. Mm -hmm. And if we're having a, a bad week, you know, sometimes we can have just a bad, stressful week and have gone through some things, but we always find a way to uh, get around that and get back into a better space. You know, we'll like just get in the car and just do something. Even if it's just going out to dinner or something like that. Yeah, I mean, we, we can do what we want to do, but we navigate. We know how to navigate. We're not rich by no means. However, we do know how to navigate and maneuver and pick our spots. And sometimes we say that with it and just do it anyway. Y'all got to start from somewhere, right? You definitely got to start from somewhere. And we've been blessed thus far. Like, oh, yeah. truly, truly blessed. And, you know, we are here. We made our move. You know, we stuck to our plan and you know how many people just can't make moves like that like we just moved recently from Jersey to Florida and um at one point it just seemed like a dream and now our dream became a reality so sometimes you just gotta say mm -hmm. I say WTH yeah WTF all right so next question you have a question for us uh, you can start okay so um, the next question is, um, so I'm pretty much asking him, and I want to see if you know the answer to this question. Oh, so I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts. What am I getting? Oh, my God. I can never work. Full FYI, I can never work at Dunkin' Donuts. Because y'all ain't throwing all that craziness at me. Talk. Can I get an ice coconut coffee with milk? Extra caramel. Wait, not, but not the. Not coconut milk. Yes. <laughs> coconut flavor. Do you do you do coconut? No, 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 no. Ice coffee, coconut with milk and extra caramel. Coconut shot. I can I can do it. I can do it. I can sit there with all that craziness. I just couldn't do it. Oh. A snake and a, a, a snack, a snack and bacon. <laughs> That's it. A snack and bacon and some uh, hash browns. I can't even get it out of there. What's going on? And hash browns 
And then she might get a donut once once or twice. It depends on how she's feeling that day. Yeah, it depends on how I feel. And and look, I can't talk because I'm like, let me get <laughs> iced coffee, French vanilla, light ice. I was supposed to say that. Oh. So he's going to get the iced coffee, uh, the, the iced French vanilla ice, the ice. That can't even talk now. <laughs> yeah. He's going to get the medium iced French vanilla coffee with cream, sugar, and uh, two extra pumps of French vanilla. Oh, that's what I'm going to get. And a blueberry muffin, and maybe. A blue, and maybe the first maybe a blueberry food. muffin. That's what he gets. That's what I get. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, next question. Do you like scary movies? I love scary movies, but they think I don't like scary movies. These scary movies are scary movies. They're, I don't know what to call them. They're, they're crap. Guys, now I didn't think you were going to say you like scary movies. Because anytime I actually want to watch a scary movie, you say Because no. they, they're crap. What's, what's the, la what's the last good no, scary movie No, when he's talking, it's crap, y'all. Because anytime when we ever watch a scary movie, crap. he never want to watch it with us. And I know they're why. crap. I know why he don't want to watch it. He don't want to watch it. All he children. don't want to watch it because he don't want us to see him jump. I, I don't care about everybody get caught out there. Everyone, so that's <laughs> everybody. I don't care who you is. However, these movies are crap. These scary movies. Not are all crap. of them. Not all of them. The Conjuring crap. The Conjuring is good. What's scary about it? It's scary. What's scary about it? It's scary. You're not telling me what's scary about it's it. It's scary. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to tell you like one you don't specific know. thing. She don't know because it's crap. But it's not crap. Anyway, okay. Yes, I like scary movies. They're scary. Anyway. No, we don't, y'all. No, we don't. You don't want us to see him jump. Yeah, okay. One time we went to the movies. I forgot what we went to go see. <laughs> and y'all. talking about the, the, we, the Ouija. Crap. No, the Ouija was corny. But anyway, don't try and get off the subject. One time we went to the movies, we went to go see a scary movie. I can't remember what the movie was, but Sean, he, he jumped like in the movie theater. And then he tried to act like, oh, he was just adjusting himself in the chair or whatever. Did, never, never. Yes, you did, you jumped. This girl is the queen. Now, pet peeve? Uh oh, we ain't gonna get on pet peeve. I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, What's boy, the next question? Go. Nope, nope, next question. I'm gonna leave that alone. What's the pet I'm not doing it. Why? Yeah, tell them. This is a Q&A. They're trying to get to know us better. I'm trying to interpret what I, my facial expressions or what I'm doing. If I'm like, all right, why you say it like that? I just said, all right. No, you said, all right. Stop trying to interpret how, what I'm saying. But guys, you know sometimes. Ain't no sometimes. Stop trying to interpret what I'm doing. And if they give I'm you a doing, facial no. expression like. No. No. I was trying to interpret. Oh, are you saying like, I ain't saying like, well, I'm just saying. I, I, or like I, if you I, ask them a question, they say what? They be like, what? What? Yeah, why are you saying like that? I, I'm asking, what, what do you want? What? What's the question? Anyway, next question. <laughs> hey, oh, every time. Quick question. Okay. Um. So if you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere? Mm -hmm. I can live anywhere. So I don't have a real Is preference. there a specific place? Nah, I don't. I, I, I'm adaptable mm -hmm. to be a perfect one. I've lived a lot of places, so I know where so, I'm not living. I'm not living in no extreme cold places. Right. I had a friend in Minnesota and the shit was below zero for a week. I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to live in any, in any cold, cold climates either, you know, which no. is. Hence why we moved to Florida. Um, and now, now ask her what's up for you, where she want to live. I wanted to live in Florida. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why we're here. I wanted to live in Florida. Yeah. She wanted she want to live in Florida, so that's why we're here. Mm. Why okay. you say it like that? See? Interpreting what I'm saying. But why you say it like that? I'm just explaining to him. That's all I'm doing. See? Told you. Anyway. No friends or toxic friends. Oh, no friends. I have exactly. I, I have the same friends. For, I'm 52. For 47 years of my life, I have the same friends. Mm -hmm. I have the same friends for 47 years. I have a lot of associates. I have a lot of people I've dealt with. Only and one of my friends has passed on. Mm -hmm. and that was one of 
the hardest things that's ever happened in my life. Yeah. I had a rough three months with people that passed away. And one of my best friends was one. So I can count on my hands. I, I can't even get to eight. I probably can't get to seven to be honest and truthful with you. And I always tell people, my kids, my sons are my best friends. They're like, son, I raised my sons already. Uh-huh. They're adults. So yeah, they're my friends now. I don't have to, I can give them advice. I can talk to them. I can teach them. I don't have to teach them. I don't have to be rearing a, a rearing parent. I'm their friend now. I can just guide them. I can be a parent when I have to be, but I don't have to be because I raised them to where they're out there. Even my daughter, and she's she's very she's doing very well. So on my hands, I can count my friends. Yeah, same here, same for me. I don't have many friends at all. You know, um, I can count. I'm glad I met a, a, a wonderful group of friends down here in Florida. You know, which I truly appreciate. You know, and um, as far as like my friends from back home, I can count my friends on one hand. You know, I've I've always been. In a small circle, in a smaller circle, you know, I never um, surrounded myself around a lot of people at one time. You know, that's just me. I don't really need all that. Um, I had a lot of associates, you know, and um, that's the type of person I am. I don't think I had any enemies, but you never know who may be an enemy. Oh, you, you know, never know you never know who may be an enemy, but What's not that I know your of. Closer than your enemies closer? Right. You never know. Right. Your friend could be your enemy. It depends on. That's- Kind of friend you got. Exactly. Exactly. And you'll know. Cause the jealousy will really is ugly head. Yeah. At the most inefficient, in, in insecure time. Yeah. So I mean, that's why I keep there's two things I don't do. I don't tell people I love them like that unless I love them. Mm-hmm. I don't just throw that word out there. And who I call a friend. Right. Those are the two things I don't do. Because you'll know. You'll, you'll, you'll know. You know what I mean? You will definitely know. But yeah, um, Sean and I are both similar in that way. We've always surrounded ourselves in, in smaller groups of, um, you know, people that we call our friends. So, um, yeah. So, um, do we have nicknames for each other? Yeah, I call her back. Yep, and he's honey. She, <laughs> she gets freaking pissed at me. I call her Brenda. That's right. You don't call me Brenda. We could be in the middle of a nice conversation. I'm like, Brenda, hey. She's like, she'll stop cold or we even arguing. Even when we arguing and I call her Brenda, why you calling me that? No, most times when you call me Brenda, you do it to make me upset because you be angry at me for something and you just be doing it intentionally trying to make me upset because you know it's going to make me upset. I, I don't understand. That's you, her name. Her name is Brenda. No, but why you got to say Brenda when you feel some type of way about something? Even if I'm not feeling Or if I make you mad about something, you'll be like Brenda, Brenda Vi or Brenda, whatever Brenda goes now. Like now, why you got to say Brenda? I'm Bay. You call me Bay. You call me Bay any other time. So why you got to call me Brenda when we I'm have a little saying. disagreement or something? I'm just saying. No, we're not having that, y'all. We're not having that. He used to call me Bay. Bay. Her name Brenda, right? So what? My name is Bay to you. Man or not, I'm Bay. Oh, and guys, on a good day, he's Hubba Love, okay? She don't call me nothing. Like she call me Sean. Every I once call in a while you she honey. Call me, I say every once in a while she call me honey. Every once in a while. I, I very honey. rarely call you Sean. I call you honey. I very rarely am honey. I hear, I hear it. Don't, I'm not saying I don't hear it. I call it. you honey all the time. I hear it. I ain't saying I don't hear it. And I said, when I'm feeling good and when you make me happy, you're a hubba love. Okay. That I ain't never heard. I heard her. I mean, what you mean? She you might tell other people. I've never heard you say hubba love. I do call you hubba love, honey. See? I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> See? She tells on herself a lot. She just don't know it. Okay. Anyway. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all keep touching my bun because my hair getting messed up. It's late, and uh, we just wanted to put this video out, so I'm just trying to fix this bun, y'all. I know I'm looking kind of crazy or whatever. Okay, back to the uh, I'm about questions. to say, you, you doing a hair Okay, so um, where were you both born? Jersey, New York. You was born in North New Jersey, right? New Jersey. 
Jersey North. And I was born in Jersey City, Brick New Jersey. City. Jersey City, New Jersey. Brick City. Margaret Hayes Hospital, which was the maternity hospital. Um, Everybody back to the then. rock, what's up? All my rocks. Everybody to the rock. August 2nd, 1978, baby. I'm a 70s baby. Yes, we are a 70s baby. All right. Um, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If I could, I need to, I want to get back to my old, I got to get rid of this. It, 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 it has to go. Next year, this time, I hope to be very slim. Not slim, but slimmer than that. This has to be. This is a shame. This is an embarrassment. It's mine. I, I live with it, but it has to go. It has to go. You'll get there. Yeah, I ain't got no choice. You'll get there. Um, one thing I would like to change about myself is... No. Um, I can't have no change, nothing. Huh? No, no, no. This is a legit change that I, I really do need to change about myself. Um, one thing that I would like to change about myself is for me to not get so overly excited about things and letting it um, give me headaches and stuff like that. You know, I'm an overthinker, and uh, when I get upset, what are you doing? Uh, I'm listening. What are you doing? You doing? Listening. No, I can see you at the corner of my eye. Go ahead, finish talking. Anyway, I mean to cut you off. I'm an overthinker, and um, when I get upset about something, I get overly anxious, and it just makes me angry to the point where I just snap. I'm a Leo, y'all, and I just let the line come out, and I just start roaring all over the place, and I just snap. You know, if I get upset about something, I just snap, and it's hard for me to calm down. So I got to... <laughs> what? No, because I'm laughing, because... And then she go, you know what I'm saying? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> I heard everything you just said. I just I just heard all of your rant. What am I supposed to say? And she get me all the time. You're, you know what I'm saying? Well, I just want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. I heard you. What am I supposed to say? What what I, I respond to something like if I'm if I'm venting to you and I'm telling you something and you just sitting there like this. All I can do is listen. It's not for me to respond. There is no response to your rant. This is how you feel. I can't respond to how you feel. I just can't. I can hear you. I can listen to you. I can even agree with what you're saying, but I don't. Yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You get. Oh, I heard what you You getting it off your chest. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, and that's only because sometimes I just hold things inside for too long, and then when it gets to a point where I let it out, I just like, ugh. I just let it pour out. And I just keep going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And see, that's the first step. I'll be like up here when I should be down here. The problem is the first step. I like it. This is good. This is good. Yeah, like I'll I'll be on fumes, y'all. I'll be on fumes and it's just hard. And sometimes I'll just snap just like that. You know what I mean? Like little things like if I see something then you know like if, if something's not clean or if something's not put up in the right place after I done cleaned it you know that drives me crazy yeah, she OCD. the pantry She's like, OCD. I try to keep the pantry clean and organized the OCD snacks with the snacks to the, the breads with the breads <laughs> the um, zip locks and the foils has its own shelf OCD. paper plates to the I shouldn't empire. come home from work to see anything thrown all over the place. No, no, no. Like if, you can no, see. It, ain't got, it, it, it don't have to be thrown over. Even if it's out of out of her order, it drives her crazy. It don't have to be in her order. But guys, tell me what makes sense of this. See, don't don't try to don't no, try no, to. No, 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 no. Tell me what makes sense of this bread. It comes with the little tire, right? The little tire. You tell me why you take bread out of the bag. You take the tire off. And then instead of putting the tire back on the bread, you take the bread and you tie it to a knot and put it on the shelf. Why? Why? As long as the bread cools, who cares? As long as the bread is not exposed, who cares? See, this is what but I'm talking about. I brought bread boxes. I brought bread, bread That's boxes the other thing. as she well. Because people, because she wants to put it in the bread box, take it out the bread box. 
some people don't want to do that. They just want to get their bread. Okay, now you back. tell me. No, but you was the one who told me when we was in Jersey. Hey, we need wait. a bread box. We need to get a bread box. I didn't box. say me. Uh, you act like it's just me in the house. I'm just telling you everybody don't go. go no, and I, the reason why I told her we needed a bread box is because she would put the bread in the damn cabinet where nobody could see it. When they come around the corner, they rushing out the house. They ain't thinking about the bread because they don't see it. If you don't see it, you don't think about it. What bread is a staple in the household, and especially if you just go grocery shopping. If we it know we keep matter. the bread in the it cabinet, no, you open the no. cabinet and you get the bread. No. It don't no. need to be on the cabinet. Why do it need, it need why, to why be can't it be? Why can't it be on the cabinet? What's wrong with it being on the cabinet? Because it's taking up space. What space for space. what? It for needs to be what? Clean. What space? AC. See what's it? OCD to the end power. This is what I'm trying to explain to her. I can't help it. She needs therapy, but we're not going to go to therapy. So. I don't need nobody's therapy. OCD. No, I just like to keep right. things clean and organized. Next, next. Anyway. We, we'll be on this topic for all night. Yes, we will. All night. I never end the story. Anyway, I don't know. What's my train of thought? What you laughing at? You want me to ask you these questions that, that somebody done made up? Oh, um, was it love at first sight? Nah, it took a minute. Yeah, it wasn't love at first sight. You know what it was? In, well, in my mind, when I first met Sean, I wasn't really in the headspace to want a relationship because I had just came out of a really bad relationship, a toxic relationship. Um, yeah, it, it was really bad. But I can say, um, when I first met Sean, I enjoyed his conversation and I enjoyed his consistency. He was consistent and that's important in a relationship. And that, that, um, that made me feel good. You know, I knew that I was going to wake up to a good morning, beautiful text, you know, every morning, you know, a call right before I go into work, you know, um, I was kind of like expecting it and it made me feel good. So, um... I was just I was looking coming, for a good time in all honesty. I was just coming out of something not good, so I definitely wasn't looking for nobody. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking At for nobody. All. I just wanted someone to talk to. I was lonely, but um, I wasn't looking for anything serious. Um, we was just dating, whatever, and going out, stuff like that. You know, um, it was uh, our first uh, date, you know, when pretty much not our first date but our first weekend we spent together we went to Atlantic City when we actually uh started having deeper conversations about the L word and this and that. Yeah I was just say let's just go ahead and get the elephant out the room. So I, I had to be the bigger man. But I, I made sure he said it first though y'all I didn't say it first. Uh, like I said I don't use it I don't use it like that so yeah. if I said it then I meant it. It wasn't, I don't tell everybody. Every chick I've ever met, I've never, nah, I can count on my hand how many times I did that. So it's, it's been nary and not a lot, not a lot at all. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it wasn't love at first sight. We, we just met each other at a time when we obviously needed each other. And um, we had a good time and feelings just grew, you know. Like I said, he was consistent, I was consistent. And um, we we built a bond. We built a bond and <laughs> to the point where we were inseparable. Now she won't let me get it. I can't even go around the corner without her. You know you like it. I gotta, I gotta get permission to go somewhere. I'm like a kid. Can I go with my friends around the corner? <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing, Sean. Now, hey, uh, we went last month. Yeah, I just went last month. Why you gotta go again? When did I say that? Next question. Yeah, because you don't want to get into that. Either. Okay, so uh, I think I asked everything. Oh, is there a song that reminds you of me? I mean, I mean, yeah. Is there a song that reminds you of me? Make make you think about me. You, you, you already know. Oh, I'm supposed to tell her. Yeah, it's this this one song that every time I see, it, I even call her sometimes. Well, I used to call her at work when it came on. Genuine differences. Anytime that song come on, I call her or I text her if I'm listening to that song. I can't sing, but I'll be singing. 
can't sing a lick. He can't sing, y'all. He can't. can't sing a lick. She will swear, you saw me in a car and you was driving. Like, damn, that dude get down in there. I got that look. What look do you have? <laughs> Stop. Stop. See, see what I'm saying? Stop. See what I'm saying? Stop. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it might have looked good, but exactly. That's what I'm saying. Um, so as far as a song that reminds me of Sean, there is a song, and I'm sure you probably don't even know which song I'm gonna say. I have no clue. There is a song that reminds me of him. Only because he was singing this song a lot too. Um, when we was like uh, going to a lot of different concerts, like the slow jams, you know, oldie but goodie concerts. We went to a lot of them. And um, but it's a silly love song by Enchantment. That's my song time. So every time I hear a silly love song, I think about him. It says, if I can write a silly love song, I would write it all about you. Can't get no better. Everybody don't know about that music, y'all. Girls will express a certain melody. Mm. Music is not the same anymore. Music is not like how it used to be back in the day. The music I grew up on. Sing it out. Let them hear you oh, sing no, it. Oh, no. They can't hear me sing. Let no, them no. hear you sing it. No, 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 no. <laughs> For your ears only. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna ask these little questions. Yeah, I'm done with my questions. But these questions, it's like they, they, they all you of them. You don't have to ask all of them. But they all for you. What I do mean, you mean they all for me? Who is the most talkative? Okay, I am the most talkative. <laughs> <laughs> I am the most talkative. Sometimes I don't talk. when I'm talking to him, and he just sitting there, like he just said, sometimes he'd be sitting here like. I hear every word. Song. I hear every I'm like, word. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can't help but hear her. Can't what is this supposed to mean? You think I'm loud now? She's a lot. You hear that voice? When it gets higher octave, that's how it is. Oh, Lord. Okay. Mm. Look, here go another one. Who loves to shop the most? <laughs> Amazon show up at our house every day. Y'all got an Amazon problem for real. Every I day. Y'all, I need Amazon rehab for real. For Listen, real. <laughs> she cursed Siri out earlier today. I mean, Alexa. <laughs> she cursed Alexa slam out. Because Alexa was like, yeah, no package came today. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like, why you gotta tell everything? I just asked you for the freaking weather, Alexa. I didn't ask you if I got packages. <laughs> freaking Alexa threw out, oh, and you received two packages today. <laughs> Did anybody ask you that, Alexa? Alexa's straight like, total on that day. And of course, she want to say it when Sean in the room. Because sometimes I try and grab my packages before he gets home, but he don't see all the packages that, don't have the, that be coming in. That was I came yesterday. I was sitting in the garage. I was like, yeah, bring that here. Oh, I, I ain't ordered nothing in a long time. I ain't ordered nothing in a long time. Yeah. I forgot about that package, though. Because you ain't ordered nothing in a long time. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Who is the biggest introvert? Yeah, Sean is the biggest introvert. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm an introvert as well, but not as much as he is. Yeah, I can sit in the house by myself in the closet. And he'll be good. <laughs> he'll be good. Like, you okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm like, good. he'll be good. <laughs> All I, I, he need is a book, and that's it. Listen, I ran the streets. I did my dirt. I did all. I'm so passionate now. I can sit right here and just have the greatest time. Exactly. Oh my God, who spends the most time on social media? Oh. All she do is watch YouTube clips. She don't watch movies no more. She don't watch TV no more. It's yeah. all about YouTube and Facebook and Reels and TikTok. That's it. Yeah. I asked what came on TV last night. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Cause I don't watch TV. The only thing, y'all, the only thing I watch on TV, I watch the Tima, cause I gotta watch me some Zach and Fatima, okay? Um, I watch the Tima and I watch Sisters. And she barely watched the urge. She watched the judge shit on her phone all day long. Oh yeah, and I watched Coys. That's it. That's that's what she do. I told I told them the, the old lady y'all watch Coys. I like Judge Matheson. I 
don't like people for it. I just like it. You learn a lot. You learn a lot. Right. Okay. Who who will be the most prepared in the disaster? Yeah. I will. <laughs> I will. I think she got something written down already. For when we have a hurricane. You better believe it. You better believe it. I think, but don't. I, the one thing I did tell her, I'm leaving. I don't care if it's a category one. Yeah, we I'm, have a we have here. a hurricane plan already. Right? I'm not staying here. We're not. If they say things. it's a hurricane coming this way, even if it don't hit, I don't care. I'm leaving. People are like you want to hurt? No, I ain't got to stay. Rephrase that. He's not leaving us, y'all. We're all leaving. Oh, it's not just this, him. listen to me, and, and I, I gotta make this very clear. If they want to stay, they can stay. I'm leaving. I don't think nobody in our family will want to stay. If you ain't in the car when I'm ready to go, that's your fault. It's not my fault. Yeah, but I don't think there's no one in our family that has that mindset. I don't know. We're all, we're big on safety, y'all. We're big on safety. And one thing we're not going to do is, you know, put ourselves in I want to hear. I can't believe he left us. Told y'all I was leaving. You know that's our plan. It ain't, you know it ain't nothing like that. That's our plan. Who is the best at keeping secrets? She can't hold water. I can hold secrets. If you got a secret to tell her, I'm no. No, you will not. If you got a secret to tell her, I'm gonna know about it. I haven't told you everything. That is that is not true. He does not know everything. Trust me. Look, let me. Sean does not know everything, okay? Trust me. Who gets bored more easily? <laughs> Who gets bored more easily? Yeah, that's good. I don't know. Probably her. Because I can entertain myself with just reading a book. Yeah, I would say I probably get bored more easily. Yeah, I don't, I don't get bored too easily. Like, just sitting around is, is not boring to me. Some people gotta be bored. Yeah, whatever. I can sit around, you know what I mean, at times. But, yeah, I don't. Who likes to sleep in the latest? Either one of us. Yeah, we're both early birds. I, 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 I can't sit. I don't see how people sleep in the bed all day. I just. You, you're up at 5 o'clock in the morning, aren't you? If I don't get up and just, like, if I got to be, like, say if I got a job, I, you know, I'm a home so If I'm not on the job side at 11 o'clock, I don't want to work. My day is shot. Well, 11 o'clock is even late. I, my day is shot. I don't want to do nothing. You I got to start at 8? Leave the house 7.30? Yeah, I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Who takes the longest to get ready? Without doubt. Without well, doubt. I gotta do my hair and I gotta do my makeup. It'll take me about 20 minutes. Find a cute outfit. Like, I need to see you right now. Sorry, sorry for my little scruffiness, but I'm headed out of town, so I'm gonna take care of all that when I get to my destination. Who is, well, we just talked about who is the biggest meat freak? Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely the biggest neat freak because there's nothing neat about this guy over here. There's nothing neat about him at all. Every once in a while, you gotta have a yin to the yang. So, I mess up stuff just to make her mad. No, he messes up stuff naturally, y'all. Naturally, just he messes up mad. stuff. Naturally. It could be little stuff. You come out of your socks and your socks stays on the floor until I pick them up. No. Yes. No. Yes. He will go in his drawer to get a t-shirt, y'all. He will go in his drawer to get a t-shirt. You tell me, why is it so hard for him to close the freaking drawer back? Why is it so hard to close the drawer back? No, I'm not exaggerating. There's two drawers open right now at home. Well, that was because we was rushing to get out of there. That's a different No. That's a different No. I closed two drawers last week. It, it was probably three days ago. Probably three days ago, I closed two drawers. We back to the OCD. I gotta do that. I gotta figure out how to do that. O, 
See. And then See. he'll have water, and and you know we like to have oh, water in the middle of the See. night, you know, in case we need something to drink or whatever. See. He'll have two bottles of water. See. He'll finish one, See. leave the empty bottle up there, and then open the other one, leave that up there, and then go get another one and put that up there with the other two empty bottles, and won't put it in the garbage. What? See, I'm not even gonna talk to you. Okay, just like she she have a fruit cup in the bed. Oh, that's because I fell asleep. See, she always got an excuse. You can't. She always got an excuse for something. Always, oh, you can't say nothing about her. She gonna say, she gonna say, oh well, that's that's different. I had a, I had an excuse. Come here, give me a kiss. Bye. Give me a kiss. No, bye. That's the other thing. When she rolls, she gotta kiss me Come all the time. Here. She wanna get a kiss. No, get it. No, get out of here. Bye. Come on. Bye. That's just a little bit of the curtain being pulled back. But anyway, y'all, that's. It for our Q and A for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, we are about to go to bed now. We are tired, and um, we appreciate you guys taking some time to get to know me and Sean better. As you can see, we are de definitely two characters. <laughs> Soon we'll go live. I guess we'll go live on TikTok one of these days. Yeah, um, on YouTube too. So we'll go live, you know, at some point. Um, yeah, and sure you guys yeah, bring you guys bring you guys along with us. Yeah, come on and uh, really. I don't know if we'll be in the kitchen or if we'll be traveling somewhere outside doing something or maybe he'll be on the grill. I don't know. But we're gonna I'm definitely sitting in go my out. garage smoking a cigar, it depends. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Bye, good night. See you next time.